<clears throat> hey guys, Airsoft Al here. And yeah, I'm kind of throwing in my two cents as well. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, but Al, you're technically an airsofter. This is an airsoft channel. Why would the airsoft community deal with fair use? That's the thing. Unlike with movies, music, well, just that, those two things, with firearms, or even replica firearms, there's like a ton of them. Like this one in particular. The simple model of the FAMAS. There's fucking hundreds of FAMASes out there. The company isn't going to care whether or not, you know, someone takes the gun. They're just wondering, okay, what's the next big gun we're going to make? That's how it is. Same thing with Vulcan. Same thing with everything. But what's sad is that companies will automatically claim or strike airsoft channels if they use certain music or if they do something or you get what i'm saying guys this shit is real for airsofters and paintballers and you know what i had to deal with a copyright claim thankfully enough it was a claim and not a strike but this was a global one and this was way before i knew anything for a friend i made a airsoft music video and a global strike was put on by the company. I can't remember, I don't know which company it was, but all I know is that a global strike was put on because I used one song, and then they just kept coming and coming and coming until finally I had to delete the video, which dropped everything. Now, two years after, I produce a combat video. My first combat video. With music, obviously. Uh, and here's what happens. I used supposedly royalty-free and copyright-free music. You know, I understand. Okay, you know, I switched out the music and we were cool. Then I produced a review with music in it. This was my M16 review, my first M16 review. And the same guy comes back and says, you can't use my music. And I was like, yes, I can, since I'm using it in fair use. I typed up my thing, we talked, and that's it. But, comes back again because I use the same music in my other video. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll use video game music. And that's the kind of music we softers use because if we try to use, you know, anything longer than 10 seconds of regular music, you know, fuck it. We're fucked. Okay? But now, I'm saying this to you guys. To every single Airsoft channel, I'm talking Node, I'm talking Evike, I'm talking everyone that is a huge company, help the movement speak out against Hollywood and this bullshit. Because I bet you anything, anything, that you guys had to face copyright strikes as well on your videos, on your reviews, because you used music that was copyright. I mean, hell, this is Airsoft music videos. Those are the big ones that get struck hard by fucking Hollywood and everything in between. To my fellow paintballers, to my fellow YouTubers, to my fellow everyone out there who's ever dealt with this bullshit, it's getting out of fucking hand, okay? We have to deal with this and we have to speak up. Wake up, people! Hollywood is abusing their rights. They are abusing our rights in the fair use law. And yes, it is a law. So speak up. Raise your hand and say enough is enough. Bear arms with the movement and show them that the video gamers, the live streamers, the reviewers, everyone, they are not alone in this fight. Bear arms with them and show Hollywood a good show. Let's go ahead and walk up there to Hollywood and give them a good kick in the ass. Why? Because we're going to hold them by the nose and we're going to keep kicking them in the ass until they come up with this shit. We're going to keep hitting them all the time until they finally give up. So you know what? I am Airsoft Al. This is my channel. And I'm going to say this. Where's the fair use? Thank you guys for watching. I've been Airsoft Al. And join the Where's the Fair Use movement. Speak your opinion on this and give Hollywood the middle fucking finger and show them that we airsofters and paintballers ain't gonna stand for this shit. Until next time.